They did not do that. So this Eastern Opera, yes, again is very very fascinating. I don't think it's prevalent in many places now. No, in not in the Eastern India Opera is a medium. Lot many people are perhaps not realizing. You you will realize our entertainment industry in Orissa yeah. is not very well developed. If you give a figure, I will tell. More than seventy five percent of entertainment needs are fulfilled by opera. Really? Even tele uh, re, uh, cinema doesn't do that. That's remarkable. Be because in Andhra, never in Andhra Pradesh, if we have more than four thousand cinema halls, in Orissa you do not even have hundred. Correct. In the ninety nine super cyclone, many cinema halls were destroyed. Destroyed. Then they have not been renovated. So in the in the absence of cinema halls, cinema industry is not also very. Lucrative. Lucrative. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have. You do not have very many heroes. Yeah. Cinema industry as such is not paid. Not paid. So, so naturally, what do the villagers do? So the rural people. Yeah. They move on to or get attracted by. They go for this. The only source of entertainment. It is only now the television mm -hmm. has come in, and unfortunately, I think we in the television industry we are not able to address those issues. We are not able to produce what our rural people want to see. Uh -huh. they, 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 that's one of the great opportunity awaiting for every one of us. Our directors, our film industry, everybody is complaining. We do copycat, <laughs> no original film. No original film. Yeah. We do not have places to show. It is not remunerative. So many issues. But Jatra, in my view, captures the imagination of the rural Orissa, mm -hmm. and Jatra also is. You can know the mind of Orissa, state of Orissa, pulse, pulse of Orissa through Jatra. One thing we perhaps do not know: in Jatra we don't have heroes. The anti-heroes are heroes. The best-paid artist is a villain. <laughs> That shows uh, this Orissa's social and mental makeup. Makeup. That's very important. <coughs> So are you also spreading some social messages and uh, through? This? I think Jatra, the operas, a great entertainment value and great opportunity for somebody who wants to spread social, social messages. messages. So it's a great challenge for the dramatist, for the authors, for the writers, for the directors to use this platform because they are reaching out to the 75 percent of the population, the population, even the government, correct, and even the government and the public sector. Those who are now really worried about reaching out to the large uh, masses, they must use this alternative. Yeah, so you would educate a company like uh, Sales. I am not sure to, what Sales can do, but they should uh, explore think, explore possibilities of Sales. Mm -hmm. Thinking of Jatra, you can build in into the Jatra, into the play, into the uh, previews. Jatra is tremendous opportunity. Right. What I want to say is, it is a four-hour. In our and we are thinking of reforming the Jatra movement, but 75 percent of our population, almost three quarters of population, they watch this for long four eight hours. That's so it's a great challenge. True. Nobody sits in a meeting for more than half no. an hour today. Nobody is prepared to listen to more than 20 minute speeches. Exactly. Even a cinema which is boring, yeah. one doesn't stay there. Don't stay. Jatra panels are obliged to keep you captive for, so for long. long Four to five hours. Mm, really so it's a great challenge on the writers and directors, even on the artists. Artists. Very hard work. They move on. It's a mobile party. Mm -hmm. I I think I didn't know anything about Jatra, and people also made fun of me when I said lots of people Jatra is literally looked down upon. Uh, so down market. Down something. market. I was saying that the focus didn't get it. So what did you say? I think. Uh, पॉलिटिकल पार्टी में तुम सके नहीं इसलिए इसलिए इसमें आता है एनीवे बट टुडे आई थिंक विद द न्यूज़पेपर रेडियो टेलीविजन एंड सिनेमा एंड यात्रा इट्स अ 360 डिग्री अप्रोच लॉट ऑफ पीपल इट्स ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी आई एम ओनली थ्रू यू अपीलिंग टू द राइटर्स एंड द डायरेक्टर्स एंड द क्रिएटिव पीपल टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी Yes. We are not. We are not doing it. Our literary people should also take advantage. Yes. Right place with a social 
message, message yeah. which will be loud and clear. True. Because the audience is guaranteed. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Uh, elsewhere, it's not so much of a guarantee, but here yeah, there is. Because of the lack of development in yeah. the other sector. No cinema halls, somebody has to go has to, to the yeah. Yeah. That's very good, sir. So there is uh, something very close to your heart, Amma Orissa. Yes. Could you elaborate on that? Because we are Amma really Orisha, fascinated I by think, that. I think uh, Amma Orissa is a great, uh, um, I would say discovery. I would say discovery. If somebody tells me what gives you the greatest pleasure today after so many years of active life, I think uh, I similarly vote for Amorisha. Amorisha started with a very selfish uh, motive. Mm -hmm. Protect our own language. I found uh, our own Odia language uh, is not rated very high among the Odia speaking elite. Uh -huh. This is a peculiar uh, contradiction. We got this state because we pleaded with the Britishers yeah, for that the Oriya is a separate language. language yeah. It is not a sister language of Bengali, Bengali yes, or even yes. Ahmiya. Ahmiya, correct. It is an independent language and it is quite an old language, yes. a literature of its own, which is a script of its own. So it stands on its own leg. And all Oriya speaking tracts should be kept under one administration. That was what the Oriya movement yeah, was. That was exactly. So, interestingly, in the post-independent area, even currently, you will find most of the people who got the best of advantage for being part of Odia administration. Mm -hmm. Odia became a separate state. Yeah. The educated middle class of Orisha yeah. got the best opportunity. Absolutely. And their children are today the biggest enemy of Odia. Mm -hmm. Enemy in the sense, they don't use Odia. They don't use. Yes. Look down upon the terms of, not exactly look down upon them. Oriya has no use for them in their career prospect. Uh -huh. It doesn't pay you to, yeah. uh, to, to use learn, Oriya. To use or learn if, if you want to become a doctor, if you want to become an engineer, if you want to become a business executive, if you want to be somebody in life, mm -hmm. using Oriya language doesn't help. My selfish motive was if the elite of Orisha, the leaders, yeah. the business community, the education community, the literary community, community yeah. those who are the leaders of Orisha, the elite of Orisha, if they don't use the language in which I trade, mm -hmm. my newspaper is an Odia newspaper. Yeah. So 10 years, 20 years down the line, I'll find that I'll be out of business. There will be no market for me. Sure. Nobody is reading Odia. And yes. all those who are reading Odia are the new literate people. Mm -hmm. So what will, what will happen to me? Sure. So it started with the selfish motive of protecting your own Mark, Mark let us let us inject the idea of Odia nationality mm -hmm. in own language. So we started a movement called every young man, no matter how many other languages he no. knows or speaks, is welcome to do that. Anybody who doesn't use his mother tongue, mm -hmm. his own language, the mother's language, I think he cannot be very successful. This is an emotional appeal. Yeah, it's a wonderful thought. It is true of everyone. But of like post liberalization, mm -hmm. new technology. All the languages are in danger. So, Orissa is in danger because of historical reasons. Yeah, but but even, now, reasons. even now, currently, we will find most of the, even Bengali and Malayalam, who are supposed to be very rich regional yeah. languages, yeah. and they take great pride in their language because of the new technology, IT revolution, yeah. and the liberalization of the market. The world has become a new market. Job opportunities are across the globe. A lot of people think that perhaps dispensing this language is possible. Mm. Every language, linguistic community is having this threat, which is a very bad thing in my view. I think we should seriously think about it. So what would you suggest, sir? My suggestion is English has come to stay as an international language. Yeah. There is no escape from that. But my worry is, the new technology is 